Hey, Beginning Orchestra, this is the third cycle um, lesson today. It's the last cycle you'll be without me. You made it. Um, I'll be back next for your next lesson. I'm, I'm sure I'm already excited to be back and I haven't even left yet. Um, so today we're going to be continuing with our book work, continuing with our songs. This time we're going to get a little deeper into Mary Had a Little Lamb. So um, let's actually get in with Hot Cross Buns. I'm going to skip the other songs. Miss Rudolph um, can run through the other songs with you using the keyboard in the back. Miss um, Rudolph, it's song one and song two. Song one is Little Ragtime. Song two is Super Sleuth. So when you hit the song button and you cycle through, you'll find them in there. Um, or... I don't know if you have access to the Google Classroom, but they're in there as well. All right, so um, we're going to start with Hot Cross Buns. We're going to do it three times. Once, I'll play with you, pizzicato. Two, I'm going to play piano while you play pizzicato. And three, we're going to do it with our bow. All right, so, so we got two fingers on the D string. Thumb on your fuzzy square. Pointer finger farthest away from your face. Middle finger, middle tape, right in a row like little soldiers. Okay? All right, keep your wrist nice and straight. Don't let it collapse against the instrument. L shape. Here we go. Ready? Two, one, D. Ready. Actually, you know what? Let's do it. No, that's right. You're right. Two, one, D. I'm right. Ready? Go. Two, one, zero. Reset it. Two again. One, zero. Four zeros. Go. Four ones, then two, one, zero. All right, you ready? Let's try it. Here's your intro. I'll tell you when. It's your turn to play. Hold on. Sorry. All right, ready? Here you go. of time we're not going to repeat it okay now let's try it with our bows so the thing with hot cross buns is that so far up until now we've done um mississippi hot dog oh this bow hold on need some rosin So make sure that when you leave, guys, you thank Mr. Rudolph for coming and holding down the fort while I was gone. Um, it's such a, release, a relief knowing that you guys are in capable hands. Okay. All right. So what we've done up until now, sort of like Mississippi hot dog. So with hot cross buns, it's still the same deal. Each like syllable, each word really gets its own bow stroke. So it'll go like this, two fingers on D, one, zero. Two again, one, zero. Four zeros, four ones. You ready to try it? Make sure that you're doing one bow stroke. So like one, zero. Okay? All right. Let's try it together. I'll play alongside you. Ready? Two, one, D. Good bow hold. Check your bow hold. Does it look like mine? Thumb on the tip. First finger on the grip. Two on the frog. Pinky on the log. All right. Two fingers on D. Set all your bow right in the center of the string, right between the bridge and the fingerboard. Two on D, ready, go. Two, one, zero. Two again, go. One, zero. Four zeros. Four ones. Not awful, right? 
You'll practice it. You have plenty of time to learn it. All right. Mary had a little lamb. <clears throat> so, um, let me go get a copy. Hold up. All right, so Mary Had a Little Lamb is written like Super Sleuth. Um, no, not Super Sleuth. Uh, hot Cross Buns. Same fingers, no threes, just zeros, ones, and twos. Dashes next to the note mean you hold it out. This time, unlike Hot Cross Buns, there's no like faster notes. So you just have to kind of do what, what's there. So um, let's try it with out our bows and then we'll do it with our bows whoa <laughs> all right two fingers on d to start just like hot cross buns so pointer in middle in a row like that make an l shape anchor your thumb two fingers on d ready go two one zero one two 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 hold it one 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 Hold it, two, two, hold it, two, one, open, one, two, 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 one, one, two, one, zero. How'd you do? Okay? All right. Cool. Practice that. Practice it with your bow too. Actually, let's do that real quick. Two fingers on D. Ready? Here we go. Ready? Go. Two. One. Open. One. Two. 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 One. 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 Two. 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 One. Open. Take out your book. Open your book to page six. Nope, I lied. Eight. I think it's eight. Yeah, eight. Okay. <clears throat> so eight is more review. So violins and violas. Somebody in your lesson group, please tell me or Miss Rudolph how you play high G. I feel like Dory the Explorer or Blue's Clues, who's like waiting for, waiting for the response, right? Um, how do you play F sharp? Oh, well, G, high G is three on D for you, violins and violas. Cello, for you, it's four on D. Uh, what about F sharp? Violins and violas, two, cello, three. E, one on D. Both, all, all the groups, violins, violas, cellos. All right, Morning Dance is kind of cool because it's a pretty song, but it jumps around all over the place. So it starts with three, three, then two, then zero, back to three. Okay, so let's try it. The piano part's nice. long as Mary had a little lamb so we can skip that 20 good King Wenceslas nice like a holiday tune so this one kind of goes all over the place too so let's start three fingers on D for high G ready three on D ready go three 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 open A back to D three
that's it. All right. All right, guys, keep working on your stuff and I will see you next lesson. Bye.